every time you've ever watched baseball in your life, there's always been one thing in common. Do you know it right away? Well, it's that there's always been nine defenders on the field at one time. No matter how they're arranged, no matter what level, no matter if one of the players was turned into a three-eyed alien on the scoreboard. What? Nine is a very big baseball number. Nine players, nine innings, all that stuff. One day, in Burlington, North Carolina, a bunch of hooligans decided to break this, pushing the game of baseball to its absolute limit. It would appear, ladies and gentlemen, that the entire Bros team is taking the field. Some of you may have noticed two changes I'm different playing on the stadium speakers very faintly in that clip. Well, this was different, all right. 17 people all on defense at the same time. You have never seen anything like this in baseball. The biggest disgrace to the sport of baseball since Schlatt made his friends play it in a park. Oh my God, look at the way he's standing. Holy shit, this, this guy can't hit shit. Only this time, this sacrilegious madness is being done in a game where one of the teams is comprised of actual baseball players. How'd it go? Well, you're gonna have to be patient and wait until after the word from today's sponsor to find out. This video is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play fantasy sports. In Underdog's Pick'em game, you make simple predictions about stats. For baseball, these can include strikeouts, hits, home runs, and plenty more. Pick two to five players, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money in a single night. And for those of you who like to get weird with it, I'm talking everybody who sees Philly's 100 RBI on their immaculate grid and goes, oh, Pinky Whitney. You can go all the way down to like, Zach McKinstry singles on this. Underdog Pick'ems are available in 30 US states, so be sure to check if yours is eligible to participate in their contests. Getting started is simple. Go to underdogfantasy.com or Underdog Fantasy on the App Store and use promo code SRS to double your first deposit up to $100. A 100% match on your first deposit up to $100. Thank you so much to Underdog for sponsoring this video. Please play responsibly. So, the obvious question has to be asked. Why are there 17 people on the baseball field playing baseball for one team at the same time? The answer is we're a bunch of YouTube buffoons. Bros vs. Pros has been a yearly exhibition between content creators calling themselves the humongous Melonheads and a collegiate summer baseball team called the Burlington Sock Puppets, comprised mostly of D1 players. And lucky for everyone involved, I have been on the melon heads twice now. I was one of the 17 on the field on this fateful night. One of the way too many outfielders, if you want to try to pick me out of the crowd there. After a few innings of somewhat coherent baseball, the fun was about to start. Five points vids, our manager, general manager, owner, titan, etc. had the bright idea to become a mad scientist on top of all that conducting an experiment of what would happen if you just overstuff a baseball field with defenders. How overpowered would it be, even if the average player of the group is a washed up content creator person and not a real ball player? So the final inning the Melonheads would be on defense would be the testing ground for the game of baseball being destroyed. For fun, of course. And right from the very first batter of the inning, it worked to perfect. <laughs> So, right off the bat, the boys are getting way too cute with it. Second baseman Giraffe Neck Mark fielded the ground ball, tossed it to other second baseman certified dude, who fired the ball to first baseman King of Juco, who could not bring the throw in. With double the defenders, we still can't execute a simple ground ball play. Runner on first base, nobody out. The runner moves to second on a wild pitch. Maybe if we had three catchers, we could have prevented the runner from advancing. What good defense could not prevent was the batter being nailed by the pitch. Runners on first and second, nobody out. You know, with how many fielders we have, a triple play isn't impossible. Just hit the ball to an infielder, someone will get it. Hit it to the general direction of the third baseman and everything's gonna be fine. Uh, 
RBI double, one run scores, runners on second and third, nobody out. Right about now, Foolish Baseball yelled something to me in the outfield I've thought about all the time ever since we pulled this little stunt. This is the opposite of what Satchel Paige used to do, he said. Satchel Paige, one of the greatest pitchers ever, was so good and so aware that he was good that he would tell all of his defenders behind him to leave. And legend has it, he would still strike everyone out. Meanwhile, we have twice as many defenders and are quickly drowning into a titanic-like baseball disaster. Which, speaking of disaster... Inside, it gets away from a catcher. The second run of the inning comes in on a pass ball. No outs yet, if you haven't noticed. As you may know, mistakes of any kind are frowned upon in YouTuber baseball. Even I, your wonderful narrator, have never made a mistake of any kind in my life. Anyone who knows anything about baseball knows that not having any outs by this point is some despicable wartime level offense. This would thankfully change very shortly as the batter would strike out swinging on a fastball above the strike zone. Finally, one out recorded in the inning. Two to go. Strikeout is big. Getting that first out in an inning that feels like it's getting away. You know, Doing that each of the next two batters prevents this from getting really out of hand. Giving up two runs in an inning is... fine. Big league teams do it every day, so a ragtag bunch of YouTubers and washed up old guys playing D1 baseball talent. That's a win, only holding them to two runs in any given inning. There is most definitely a path to salvation here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jump! Jump! Bro! What a revolutionary strategy. Too many defenders to risk making it out? Just hit it over all of them. Modern problems require modern solutions. One could say the melon heads were technically at full strength here. So much good that did. Also gotta give a huge shout out to the swing man. Almost had it there, man. Almost. Four runs have come home in the inning. One out. Well, at least the bases have cleared. Something like... Oh, I don't know, a ground ball to shortstop becomes easy as pie. Just field the ball, throw it to first base, get the dude out. As routine as they come. It's the full count pitch. That ball is hit sharply to short, and it is going to get through. What did I say earlier? Just hit the ball to an infielder. Someone will get it. Three guys could have had this ball. Three guys. I actually feel bad for our pitcher, even now thinking about this. He seemed like a really nice dude. He shouldn't have to suffer through defense like this. You would think by putting double the players in the field that a routine roller to shortstop getting through would be impossible. But we are the humongous melon heads. We do the impossible. It could have been worse. It could have been a fly ball hit in my direction, which historically doesn't go too well for the melon heads. The runner would soon move to second on another wild pitch. Hey man, we're just out here. Put some respect on our names. You're just hating on our grind. Those of you who aren't religious, what you're about to see is going to be life-altering evidence of a higher power. That ball is going to be caught. It, was, it could be a double play. Throw into second base. They got him. A diving play out there in shallow center. Again, you have 16 guys on the field. You shouldn't let that one drop if it doesn't. Oh. My. Goodness. We have been saved. That's why you have all these extra defenders out there, baby, for stuff like that. Exactly like we drew it up. The best part of this, from my perspective, is I don't even know who this was. And he was our hero. We had so many guys out there that I didn't even know all of them. I lost track and I was on the field. After the inning, I made sure to be polite and respectful and asked the kid his name. The least I could do for seeing him bail us out out there. I'll be honest with you guys, I forgot his name about five seconds later, and I have no way of getting a hold of him to ask what it was. If you're out there, man, you saved the 2023 humongous melon heads. Without you, we would have totally lost by more than 10 runs. Let's recap. 17 melon heads playing at once, four runs scored, three outs made, two hitters making outs. In a way, you could actually pull a real baseball lesson out of this. Maybe more. 
It still takes every last member of the team out there to be successful, no matter how many there are. It really was all hands on deck, and there's something to be said about how important that is. And, if you look at how some of the runs came in, it wouldn't have mattered how many of us were out there. Doesn't matter if you have infinite defenders when the opponents hit balls out of our solar system. So to those of you who think you can just do baseball, twice as many guys on the field as a real team couldn't even do the trick. Which makes all the nine a real team has out there way more important than you ever imagined. Wait, there was another Melonheads game this year? In Portland, Oregon against the Portland Pickles? And this little experiment was tried again? And hit to center field. And lost it in the lights. 